Hi, today we are going to see how to calculate the flakiness index and elongation index to know the shape of the aggregates. Know the shape of the aggregates for the roads constructions. Okay, so here we are going to uh, see the uh, aggregates having different size or sizes. That is, you can see 63 mm, 50 mm, 40 mm, 31.5 mm, 25 mm, 20 mm, 16 mm. 12.5 mm, 10 mm and pan. So we need to take approximate about 50 kgs of coarse aggregates of different sizes and we need to take for the calculation of flakiness index. So first we have to switch on this button and the shoe shaker will start and next what we have to do, we have to pour the coarse aggregates approximate taken of 50 kgs weight by of different sizes. We need to pour slowly into the shaker automatically it will turn off after 10 minutes of uh, aggregate shaker So now after 10 minutes the timer has been set for 10 minutes it is going to be see the course aggregates so after 10 minutes it will go uh, it will go off automatically so now we have to off the switch off this uh, button after the, the weights that is 50 mm passing and 40 mm retained of course aggregates and we need to take the weights of 200 pieces which is passing through 50 mm and retained on 40 mm of 200 pieces of aggregates we need to take and we need to wave, wave the aggregates taken it's taken as the weights of the aggregates as 25,218 grams and the respective trays are there tray 1, tray 2, tray 3, tray 4 so the total weight of the 200 pieces is 25,218 grams taken so this is the total weight obtained of 200 pieces passing through 50 mm and retained in 40 mm that is same 25,218 grams and after that uh, we need to take that material 200 pieces and we have to check these 200 pieces passing through the standard thickness gauge that is passing through 50 mm and 40 mm retained of all the one by one aggregate we need to take and we need to place in the thickness gauge 50 and 40 mm and the the passed course aggregates of sizes of 200 sizes we have passed through the thickness gauge the total weight of the passed course aggregate is the weight of 200 pieces of aggregates fraction in each size range passing a particular sieve and retained on the corresponding smaller sieve such as 63 to 50 mm, 40 to 50 to 40 mm that is P1 and P2. Out of the, out of the 200 pieces of aggregates from each size range, the weight of the portion of flaky particles passing through the appropriate slot in the thickness gauge B, F1, F2, etc. The flaky portions of aggregates passing, passing the specified slots are expressed as a percentage of the respective waste weight of about 200 pieces of aggregates. The flakiness index of the entire sample of aggregates is expressed as the sum of the weighted percentages of flaky particles passing the appropriate gauge in each fractions. Now we need to take the weight of the passing coarse aggregate materials. We need to tear first that is the weight of the empty tray 886 grams. After that, we need to pour the coarse aggregate which was passed through the thickness gauge of 50 passing and 40 mm 
of 200 pieces we have passed through the thickness gauge and we need to take the weight of those uh, coarse aggregate weights whose weight is 4556 grams so this is the flakiness index percentage of weighted percentage of the flaky particles passing through the appropriate gauges Now the calculation part, the weights of the separated size ranges of aggregate sample during sieve analysis is recorded as small w and capital W. So we can see here the result a flakiness index of the aggregates. Small w is the total weight of the aggregates that is passed through the thickness gauge. So that percentage is 18% we have got the percentage of flakiness index. So this is the elongation gauge. So here also we are going to see the 50 mm passing and 40 mm the portion of the coarse aggregate passing through the 50 mm and retained and 40 mm. So one by one 200 pieces we have taken that is going to be passed through the elongated elongation index gauge. So we need to check one by one we need to pass the aggregates that is passing 50 and retained 40 and after that we need to take the weights of the separated aggregates of different sizes. So the in order to separate elongated particles each particle of the fraction is then gauged individually for length that is on longest side in the appropriate slot of the given length gauge. The gauge length used should be those specified for the selected size range of the aggregate sample. These are also marked in the length gauge. For example, if the portion of aggregates passing through 50 mm sieve and written in 40 mm sieve, the slot of the length gauge will be 1.8 50 plus 40 divided by 2 that is 81.0 mm. Elongated portion of the aggregates retained on the specified slots of the length gauge are collected and weighted. The elongation test is not applicable to sizes of aggregates particles smaller than 6.3 mm. The elongation index of an aggregate it is the percentage by weight of particles whose greatest dimension that is length is greater than 1 and 4 fifth times or 1.8 times of their mean dimension. Now the weights of the separated aggregates of different size ranges are weighted. The total weight of the aggregate of the sample is taken in terms of the capital W grams. The weights of the elongated portion of the aggregates retained on the different specified slots of the length gauges are two gauges lengths we need to take. So next, so next here we need to take the weights of the pass, uh, pass through the elongation index gauge that is tear we have to do the tear of 852 grams of the tray and after that we need to pour the passed core. So this is the weight of the tray after tearing and after that we need to take the 
we need to take the elongated portion of the aggregates retained on the specified slots of the length gauge which has been collected and weighted so the weight of that is 5288 grams so this is the elongation index it is nothing but the total weight of the elongated particles retained on the various slots of the length gauge which is expressed as a percentage of the total weight of the aggregate sample this is the calculation part that is the result elongation index of the aggregates that is the retained material 5288 divided by total weight in 2000 that is the elongation index of the aggregate is 20.96 percentage so this is the elongation index so these are the two tests we have been conducted regarding shape test to know the shape of the aggregate particles 